I don't think you realize just how big this new 3D printer is. I'm talking about the Orange Storm Giga from Elegoo that just recently launched over on Kickstarter this past weekend and has already amassed over 2.5 million in funding for this ginormous 3D printer and it's looking just crazy. And if you're like me, you might be wondering, where can I actually fit this if I decided to back it and pick up one of these enormous 3D printers? Well, that's what I'm here to help you with in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you some different methods of how you can actually spatially see this 3D printer in your house or garage or office and see exactly how it would fit in a number of different spaces that you might have. Now, obviously there's some really easy ways that you could go about doing this by using just a standard tape measure and measuring out your space and seeing how that would fit in that given area or using some tape and applying that to the ground in a square shape that matches the printer to give you a nice visual. But I figured we could take this a step further by going in and I went off and 3D modeled the Giga to scale over in Shaper 3D so that I could have a visual 3D reference to use and share with you all that we can play around with in augmented reality as well as using the MetaQuest 3 in mixed reality. So over here by my filament wall in this pillar here that I have in the middle of the room is one of the key areas that I was thinking about placing this huge printer. And again, the build volume for this, for the actual printer, so I'm talking about the build volume, the print build volume is 800 by 800 by 1000 millimeters. That is a massive build volume, but what's even bigger is the actual print dimensions for this machine. And the actual dimensions for the machine are 1,214 millimeters by 1,050 millimeters by 1,377 millimeters high. That is just a huge chunk of space that you're gonna need for this really big machine that's gonna be able to print some massively tall prints. So here, using Shaper 3D, I'm gonna go directly in to the AR function of this. And there we go, it's, it's kind of inserted it into the wall so I can reposition it and I believe I can, yeah, there we go, I can tilt it around here and then place it. It's like, it's so much larger than what I was thinking here. It's just, this thing is just, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. But yeah, we can actually get in here and take a look at this in a lot of detail. What's really cool is about viewing it in the Shaper 3D app is where you're gonna get the most possible detail from what I've modeled here. And again, this is just a basic representation of the overall shape. But here we can even see that there are the four build plates directly in this, where it looks like it's one massive, but it's actually four individual large build plates placed in here. And I even included a benchy to scale so that you can actually see how a benchy would look printed on this ridiculously large 3D printer. Now maybe you don't have Shaper 3D and you don't wanna bother downloading and installing it or you don't have an iPad or anything like that, but you probably have an Android phone or an iPhone and this next way is gonna allow you to very easily do this without installing anything. It's by going directly to thangs.com where I have uploaded these files. You can then download those directly to your computer. Again, mess around with those if you'd like, but from the browser, they actually have an option to launch directly into augmented reality directly from your phone. Again, allowing you to at scale, see and position this around your space. Now, one thing that I will mention is for whatever reason on Thang's website, the, the model is not scaled correctly. You need to just pinch and zoom that up to about 150% scale is about the correct sizing that we're gonna be looking at for the printer in the space here. So as I'm getting further back, you'll see just how big this is as I'm trying to position it here in this little pillar space in this other area of my studio. Also, one thing that you'll notice as viewing it directly from the browser of your phone or your device versus 
you, you, like downloading it yourself is it's not gonna have all the coloring that uh, I built into that. So if you wanna see that, you can actually download all the files. I've included on that Thangs listing the Android files to view this. If you download those and load them on your Android device, you'll get a better representation of it in the actual size, as well as the iOS AR functionality. And I also included the original files from Shaper 3D if you wanted to go in there and make modifications directly to that, or if you just wanted to view the direct OBJ file, the 3D file of this object and play around with it. In other tools, you can do that as well. And before I run off and show you how you can view that in mixed reality using the Quest 3 headset, I want to say a huge thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. They are the makers of that Orange Storm Giga ginormous 3D printer that's live over on Kickstarter right now. Not only is it a huge 3D printer, but it also has the ability to print up to 300 millimeters per second. It's running Clipper and it will have different size nozzle options Thank you. There's a 0.4, a 0.6, a 0.8, and a one millimeter size nozzle so that you can print some really big, chunky things a lot faster. And if you're not in the market for a ginormous 3D printer like that, I wanted to mention that I have a video coming up here very soon on the Neptune 4 Plus and all of the crazy fast things that I'm printing with this really affordable, amazing 3D printer. All right. so. Here's the Quest 3. This is gonna look a little awkward here, and I'm gonna try and figure out how I can best display this for you guys. This is uh, what we're gonna look at here, and we're using an app called Figmin XR. And so here in the app, uh, this should allow me to, I have a scene that I can set up here in this space, and what this is allowing me to do is I've uploaded the model to Sketchfab, and I can then search, I found my model, and I can now bring it into the world here, and as you'll see, it's not quite the right scale, so I can scale this up to 100% the original size, just to get a real size of what this thing is gonna look like, which is just, again, huge. But I also need to come in here and let's turn on some of the options. Yeah, I wanna turn on physics for this. Let's turn on the physics. <laughs> for this, this is where things start to get really fun inside this app. So I can uh, make it really bouncy, not so bouncy, since this is pretty big. I'm gonna minimize the amount of uh, bounciness there. I'm gonna come in here and come in and let's add a little sound effect to this as well. Yeah, that's a good thud sound. And I wanna allow us to hear that. So let's say it's something like 70%. So now I can move this around and thought it around. But here is where I'm really starting to think I might want to put this. So as people will come in here into my, excuse me, everything's like under construction. Everything's under construction in here, by the way. So uh, as you come in, you'd see this massive 3D printer in here, and I can then position this how I need to position it here in the space, and then get an idea of how this is gonna look and interact in this whole area here. And if I add just enough space for this, can I get around this? Can I move around this? That whole thing is gonna be part of this whole process of just figuring out exactly where this 3D printer can go in this space. It's, it's nutty. Another option here is gonna be Shapes XR. This is gonna allow you to, again, uh, you can create a space here and in here, you can enable pass through and then bring in your 3D model. Now you are gonna have to upload that OBJ file directly to a location in the Shapes XR website. I think there's like a, a holder area there for this. But here again, you can see an example of this model in place here in this space. Now, I don't think this looks quite as good as the other app that we were looking at, but it still is gonna allow you to get that representation here. And I can click and move this around the space if I wanted to, or rearrange this here in the space or try and get it to sit better on the floor. As far as I know, there's no physics involved inside this app here. I, I haven't really played around with it too much, but it's free for you to play around with this here versus the other one, which I think was like uh, Figment XR is I think 20 bucks or something like that. But yeah, really cool to try out here if you have the Quest 3 headset, but not a requirement there. Just use your phone or your Android or whatever it is, tablet, to get an idea of how this thing will fit in a space 
here in uh, in your location. It's a really cool thing. So hopefully this was somewhat helpful for some of you out there, giving you options of ways that you can view this ginormous 3D printer in your space to see exactly where it would fit, or just use some of these tools for other things like some of the 3D models that you're looking at printing and how you can project them in your own office or your shelves or even on a 3D printer before running off and 3D printing them. There's some really cool tools out there. You don't need the Quest 3 or anything like that to do any of these things. Just, just use your phone. It'll be a lot cheaper and simpler, but uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you have any suggestions on how you could further go about this, let me know in the comments below. I also want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Me making content here on the interwebs. I've got my Neptune 4 Plus profiles that should be up to all my Patreon members here. So as soon as you get that printer, you'll be able to start printing with the profiles that I'm using for all of my prints on this machine. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time.